Guys, welcome to our bush kitchen and to what is the first installment of a new series of videos that we're going to be bringing to you about us cooking in the bush using our favorite equipment that you see behind me and recipes that we haven't tried before but we're going to give a go and hopefully they work out and you guys can use camping and at home. So, let's go. The beautiful thing about our bush kitchen is that wherever we are in the world, it follows us and we can set up on the side of a river, at the top of a mountain, in sand dunes, so we can make the best food wherever we are. Here we have our utensil shelf where we hang all of our cutlery and various utensils, our pans and of course our donkey long tons, which are probably one of my favourite pieces of equipment. At the back of the kitchen we have one of the many prep surfaces. Generally have hot pots and pans on this part of the table and a ch nice chopping board that slides in and out that we prepare food on. So now you've had a tour of the kitchen, uh, let's talk about some of the equipment we're going to be using today and what we're going to try and make today. This is probably one of my favourite pieces of equipment. This is a scuttle or a fire bowl. It has these really handy tripod legs which just screw out and go into a bag so we can put this on a gas stove we can put it on a fire and it acts as a really nice hot plate we've cooked so much on this from stir fries to meat to, i did my breakfast on it this morning yeah one of my favorite pieces of equipment that we carry this is the otago by petromax we use this as a fire bowl and also a braai what's really nice about this is it's so easy to put up and put down and it packs down into a nice little bag Keeps your fire off the ground. In Europe, this is called a Dutch oven. In South Africa, it's a poiki pot. More of a Dutch oven actually because of the shape um, of it. The poiki pot is more rounded with a rounded bottom, but still similar. Cast iron pot that we use as a poiki pot. So we've got some bananas that are well, they need eating, and we're going to attempt to make a poiki pot banana loaf today. We've never done this before, and Chloe is generally the baker, but I'm going to attempt this. We can do it together, can't we? Yeah, it's team effort. Team effort. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Right, now the fire's going and making us some nice coals to cook the bread, so we're going to start prepping it. So we're going to start off by peeling our bananas. Then we're going to cut them into small pieces and mash them with a fork. Oh, hi, Chloe. Oh, hi. Shall I be your sous chef? It's worth noting that this recipe actually came from Bry.com, um, Jan Bry. I've made banana bread many times, but only in an oven. So I'm a little bit unsure as to how this will work in a poiki, because I just imagine it will just burn on the bottom, because it the poiki can get so hot, can't it? Yeah, well, that's why we're going to regulate the coals nicely, hopefully. Our coals are looking pretty good, so I'm going to start rearranging them. I'm going to push the fire to the left of the bry pit and then scoop the coals over to the right. So we're going to do roughly a cup of butter and we're going to soften it in a bowl before we mix it with the sugar and everything else. I really don't know what I'm doing. Okay, the butter's going in. One cup of sugar. A cup of sugar? I think a cup is actually... It looks like a cup to me. Oh, yeah. Looks like a lot of sugar though. Don't want any lumpy butter. Is that right? Yeah. So we're going to go in with four eggs now. We mashed this earlier. 
Now we've got to add two cups of flour. Oh, I'd say that's a cup. How much is a bit at a time? Add half of that, mix it in, and then just keep adding. Okay, so that's about half. I'd say it's going well so far. What makes you say that? Well, making a mess, we're having fun. <laughs> This isn't on the recipe, but we're gonna add some chocolate chunks. This is our favorite chocolate from back home, which you can get in South Africa. So we're gonna add some of these in, and then I think we'll chop a few bits up and then put them on top, and then it'll be all chocolatey and yummy. That's fine. The recipe doesn't ask for almond milk specifically, but the normal cow's milk that we have is out of date and doesn't smell very good, so we're just using almond milk. There's probably going to be quantities in there that aren't, you know, standard baking quantities. We don't know how much we put in, <laughs> basically. <laughs> Just totally winging it. In with the chocolate. We're going to save some for the top. Mm. This is just going to be a montage of you licking spoon. <laughs> It should be ready in 50 minutes with medium to hot coals, but it could be done as soon as 30 minutes if the coals are too hot. So I think we leave that for 20 minutes and come back and check in 20 minutes. In about 20 25 minutes, I think we should check it. Hoping it's worked. It might have been too cold. I don't know. We'll see. It's working. It's working. Look at that. Put the lid on, it might sink in the middle. Okay, so this is 45 minutes of cooking. The coals weren't ideal, the wood wasn't great we needed better wood to do this so the coals didn't hold like they should but um, let's take a look oh look at that yeah. pretty good you smell it. it smells amazing yeah it does I think mm. it's good let's take it over to the Good. It's looking good. It hasn't stuck at all, is it? Just do this as a precaution on top, then flip it, and mm. then put the other plate on, and then it will be the right way around. So if you get your gloves, and I'll put that one there. I think it just fell straight out. Did it? <laughs> oh my gosh, that looks so good. How have we managed to do that? Well. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> awesome. Nailed it. Bloody hell. That looks so good. So we've patiently waited about 20 minutes and the and cake the is- smell just yeah. seeping through the car. <laughs> <laughs> the cake is still probably a bit too warm to cut, but we're just gonna cut it anyway and then show you what it looks like and more importantly, eat it. So let's cut it. Wow. That is going to be a treat. So guys, that's the banana bread in the poiki pot. And uh, the first of this kind of video that we're going to do, and we're going to try and do some different things. If you have any that you'd like us to try or any suggestions, let us know. Yeah, we can be the guinea pigs and we can try out these recipes. Yeah. See if they work. 
I and think, this one definitely did. Oh yeah, it worked really well for, considering it's our first ever attempt at doing one. Yeah. So. Well actually, we now need to do a taste test I think and then we, we see yeah. if it actually really works. We need to taste it. I think the chocolate chips was a great idea. Mm. Good. Very good. Really good. It's like perfectly moist in the middle without being mm -hmm. too soft. So we're just going to um, finish this whole thing and then <laughs> call it a night. <laughs> Cheers guys. That was actually really good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> one more, one more. <laughs> one half of that. <laughs>